Lewandowski downloaded directly to his laptop at least 20 files from the Google Drive, including instructions for calibrating and tuning Google's custom LiDAR, and an internal tracking document setting forth, among other things, technical goals for each team within Project Chauffeur. So they charge him with 33 counts. All 1 through 33 counts are theft and attempted theft of trade secrets. This is a community-supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. Good evening, everyone. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. I just found out about the Anthony Lewandowski uh, trade secrets indictment. He's being indicted on 33 counts of trade stealing, theft of trade secrets from Google as he left Google's program and went over to Uber's program. So there was already a lot of controversy about this because Mr. Lewandowski was an engineer for Google and Google has made it quite publicly known through court filings and things that they have already felt for a long time now that he stole trade secrets and we're pursuing him and I believe Uber for, I believe it's patent violations and theft of trade secrets, etc. on the civil side. And now we have a 33 page indictment. So let's first take a look at the justice.gov sort of press release. It says, former Uber self-driving car executive indicted for alleged theft of trade secrets from Google. A federal grand jury in San Jose has indicted Anthony Scott Lewandowski on the theft of trade secrets charges, announced United States Attorney David L. Anderson and FBI Special Agent. The indictment was returned on August 15, 2019 and unsealed on August 26, 2019. The indictment alleges Lewandowski, 39, of Marin County, was a Google engineer and one of the founding members of the group that worked on Google's self-driving car project. Lewandowski worked on the project from 2009 until he resigned from Google without notice on January 27, 2016. All of us have the right to change jobs, says the U.S. Attorney's Office. None of us has the right to fill our pockets on the way out the door. Theft is not innovation. At the time of his resignation, Lewandowski was the lead of Google's LiDAR engineering team, Light Detecting and Ranging. The indictment alleges that in the months before his departure, Lewandowski downloaded from secure Google repositories numerous engineering, manufacturing, and business files related to Google's custom LiDAR, etc. We'll read that in a moment. They charge him with 32, 33 counts of theft and attempted theft of trade secrets in violation of 18 U.S.C. 1832. Let's take a quick look what that is and it's theft of trade secrets, of course. Whoever with intent to convert a trade secret that is related to a product or service used or intended for use in interstate or foreign commerce, because that's how the federal government gets jurisdiction over said claims, to the economic benefit of anyone other than the owner thereof, and intending or knowing that the offense will injure any owner of that trade secret, if they knowingly steal or without authorization appropriate, take, carry away, or conceal by fraud, artifice, or deception, obtain such information without authorization, copies, duplicates, sketches, etc., receives, buys, or possesses such information, attempts to commit any of those offenses, or conspires with one or more persons to commit those offenses, shall be guilty of some kind of crime and be fined or imprisoned under this title for not more than 10 years. So I don't know what exactly what the range of financial punishments are for a Title 18 violation, but uh, definitely there's a 10 year incarceration opportunity there. So now let's go over to the actual indictment, which has been unsealed, is no longer sealed, so we're not in violation of anything here anyway. But this is in the United States District Court for the Northern District of California. And this is the charge, charging indictment or charging document against Anthony Scott Lewandowski. And it says, The grand jury charges. In or about 2009, Google began a self-driving car project known within the company as Project Chauffeur. Google employees working on Project Chauffeur designated and developed both the hardware and the software necessary for fully autonomous vehicles. Self-driving vehicles and many of their component parts were intended for use in interstate commerce. At all times relevant to this indictment, Google owned all of the Project Chauffeur intellectual property, including but not limited to the trade secrets at issue. 
Google was headquartered and Project Chauffeur maintained offices in Mountain View, California. In December 2016, after the events outlined in this indictment, Project Chauffeur became Waymo, a stand-alone company with over 600 employees. Waymo operated alongside Google and other technology companies under the umbrella of Alphabet Inc. Uber Technologies began as a ride-sharing app in or about 2009. By 2015, Uber had expanded its business to include food delivery and other logistics. That year, Uber began investing in autonomous vehicle technologies. At all times relevant to this indictment, Uber was headquartered in San Francisco. Anthony Lewandowski joined Google as an engineer April 2007. He was one of the founding members of Project Chauffeur. He signed employment agreements with Google in 2007, 2009, 2012. Each employment agreement contained a confidential information paragraph which obligated him to hold confidential information in confidence. In January of 2016, he resigned from Google without notice. At the time of his departure, he was in charge of the LiDAR engineering team within Project Chauffeur. Without disclosing it to Google, in or about the spring of 2012, Lewandowski participated in the formation of a LiDAR company, later incorporated as Odin Wave. Odin Wave had a handful of employees and offices in Berkeley, California. The company worked to develop high accuracy mapping LiDAR sensors. In or about late 2013, Odin Wave began doing business as Taito LiDAR and moved to offices in San Leandro, California. Paperwork formalizing the name change was filed in 2014. By 2015, Taito was attempting to market its LiDAR technology to self-driving car companies, including Uber. September 2015, Lewandowski decided to leave Google and form a new self-driving car company. Lewandowski's new company was initially called 280 Systems, but later changed its name to Automato. I guess a play on automatic. In or about fall, 2015, Lewandowski began having discussions with executives at Uber regarding Uber potentially making an investment or acquiring Automato. Those negotiations intensified in December 2015 and 2016, with Uber and Automato signing a term sheet in February 2016, so terms of an agreement that hasn't quite been finalized. On or about April 11th, 2016, Uber's board of directors approved the transaction shortly after Automato acquired Taito. Uber's acquisition of Automato closed in August 2016. The technology and information at issue involved the research, development, and production of LiDAR technology for self-driving vehicles. A LiDAR sensor is typically mounted on the exterior of a self-driving vehicle. It works by sending out an array of high-power pulsing lasers into the surrounding environment. The laser beams bounce off surrounding objects and return to the sensor, which measures the qualities of the return signals to determine the size, shape, and distance of surrounding objects. Self-driving Car companies have used LiDAR for critical functions, including but not limited to mapping and perception. For mapping, LiDAR can be used to create a three-dimensional map of the static environment in which the vehicle will operate. Regarding perception, LiDAR dynamically detects what is happening around a vehicle as it travels through the previously mapped environment. In real time, it provides information to the vehicle about other vehicles, pedestrians, and obstacles on the road. Through years of research and testing and millions of dollars in investment, Project Sofer has developed its own customized LiDAR systems. Those custom systems were used in both mapping and perception and consisted of thousands of individual hardware and software components. The success of the LiDAR effort was critical to the overall success of Project Chauffeur. Moreover, having custom LiDAR as opposed to commercially available LiDAR was a key differentiator between Project Chauffeur and its competitors in the 2015-16 timeframe. The Google employees working on Project Chauffeur used secure, password-protected repositories to store their files with access available to employees in the course of their job responsibilities as authenticated by valid user credentials. Project Chauffeur's repositories included the following. They used SVN, they used Google Drive, and then, in the months before his departure from Google, Lewandowski downloaded thousands of Project Chauffeur files. This allegation was already known on the civil side, and now it was just a matter of time, apparently, before the FBI brought an indictment before a grand jury, and then they get it. 
On or about December 11, 2015, he downloaded approximately 14,000 files from the SVN repository. These files contained critical engineering information about the hardware used on Project Chauffeur's self-driving vehicles, including schematics for printed circuit boards used in various custom LiDAR products. On or about December 14, 2015, Lewandowski transferred the SVN files from his Google laptop to his personal laptop. Additionally, in or about October 2015 or 16, January 2016, Lewandowski downloaded directly to his laptop at least 20 files from the Google Drive, including instructions for calibrating and tuning Google's custom LiDAR and an internal tracking document setting forth, among other things, technical goals for each team within Project Chauffeur. So they charge him with 33 counts. All 1 through 33 counts are theft and attempted theft of trade secrets. On or about the dates set forth in the separate counts below, the defendant, Anthony Scott Lewandowski, intending to convert a trade secret that was related to a product and service used in and intended for use in interstate and foreign commerce to the economic benefit of anyone other than the owner of that trade secret and knowing and intending that the offense would injure the owner of that trade secret as specifically alleged in each of the counts 1 through 33 below. So that was, that was the standard for the trade secret law that we saw before that he knowingly stole and without authorization appropriated, took, carried away, concealed, and by fraud, artifice, and deception, obtained trade secrets belonging to Google and attempted to do so, that he also knowingly and without authorization copied, duplicated, sketched, drew, downloaded, uploaded, altered, photocopied, replicated, transmitted, delivered, sent, communicated, and conveyed trade secrets belonging to Google and attempted to do so and knowingly and without authorization received, bought, and possessed trade secrets belonging to Google and attempted to do so, knowing the same to have been stolen and appropriated, obtained, and converted without authorization. And then here is the table of all 33 counts, uh, showing different laser modules from the SVN motherboard modules or, or motherboards, motor descriptions, the clock scheme, they make forfeiture allegations. Upon conviction of any of these offenses, the defendant, Anthony Scott Lewandowski, shall forfeit to the United States of America pursuant to Title 18 United States Code, Sections 1834 and 2323, any property used or intended to be used in any manner or part to commit or facilitate the commission of the offenses and any property constituting or derived from any proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of the commission of the offenses. If any of the property described above as a result of the act or remission cannot be located, has been transferred or sold, has been placed beyond jurisdiction of the court, has been substantially diminished in value, or has been commingled with other property which cannot be divided, the United States of America shall be entitled to forfeiture of substitute property pursuant to 21 U.S. Code Section 853P as incorporated, etc. And so this is a true bill that has been signed by the foreperson of the jury on August 15th and it was just unsealed today. So that is really remarkable. I am not really any further familiar with the situation other than now is the time that we can go back and look at what Google has been saying. And this is not that kind of video. I'm doing my first impressions from my hotel in Rotterdam uh, trying to, uh, to bring you the breaking news as fast as we can. So I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. I will let Brandon make a crawl out of all this. Thank you very much for your support. Don't forget that we receive support from you through patreon.com slash ljfrench and sponsus.org slash law. Thank you very much to our supporters in the month of August. Thank you to Joshua Davis for sponsoring our channel at the $500 level. We'll be talking about his Tanda Pay service. Thank you very much to our $50 plus supporters, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Kyle Mudrock, Michael Pierce, Jan Negre, Blackleaf, Spirit Bear, Daniel Perez, Thori Wazowski, Not Mike, Joe Tyson, and King Macro. And thank you to the rest of the $5 plus supporters and all of my supporters. All of you will appear in the description of the videos that drop. Thank you. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.